Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we're going to be doing a fall Shein haul. A lot of these pieces are perfect for the transition and also obviously for the fall season. So definitely be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Thank you so much to Shein for sponsoring today's video. I will have everything linked below per usual in the order that it was shown in the video as well as my measurements so you can use me as a reference. And with all of that being said, let's get right into the video. So first off, we are starting off with these shoes that I got in this video. I only have three pairs, but I did get some platforms. You guys know that I spoke about the platform trend in one of my previous videos, but I never really, really got onto it. So I saw these really cute platforms on Shein and I was like, ooh, these are super cute for like a really cozy, chill, casual vibe. So I'm not exactly sure where you would even wear these shoes. They kind of give obviously like loungewear, but they're heels. So I don't really know, but I just thought they were cute and they did have another color in these as well. And this is the first pair. So next we have these platform like iridescent purple. Y'all know the vibe. It gives like purple, green, blue, depending on the lighting. And these are super duper cute. Like I said in the previous clip, I don't know what I'm gonna wear with these exactly, but I do think they are a really fun shoe. And the thing about platforms, to me personally, I think they're super duper comfortable and easy to walk in, in my opinion. They are very supportive. You just have to be very careful, you know, you're a little higher off the ground than normal. So you just wanna be careful every time you take a step because I have kind of tripped up a little bit. So the last pair I have, I'm not gonna lie, not a huge fan of these. I'm not exactly sure why I picked these, to be honest, but a lot of the platforms on Shein are sold out because they are good dupes for like the Versace platforms, and I wasn't able to get my hands on those, but these are cute. They're like a knit material, so the front isn't super supportive. I feel like my feet are like sliding through a little bit, and the ankle strap is really, really loose, so these aren't my favorite, but I do like them. So the first top we have is the top that I was wearing in the intro, and I just really love the colors in this. It screams fall, and it is a turtleneck, as you can see here. It's quite long, so you could just fold it down or just scrunch it down to your liking. I got this top in a size large, and it's definitely a little big. As you can see, the fabric kind of rolls up in some places, and it's really, really stretchy. So. If you want it to be quite fitted, I would either stick with your normal size or go down a size because this material is very, very forgiving, but this top is absolutely gorgeous. And I would wear this with some boots and some high-waisted jeans. So next up we have us another like sweater style top. And this, as you can see, is this really, really pretty blue with these red and yellow diamonds on it. And I really, really liked the colors in this. I love like pops of color pieces because you can obviously tone down everything else or you can add to the pop of color by bringing out one of the colors. So you can throw on like some yellow heels, a yellow bag or something like that and it will be really, really cute. I got this in a large because I was a little nervous about the material. And as you can see, it fits quite snug. So I'm really glad that I got a large because I think a medium would have been way, way too tight and I would have been like struggling to move. So yeah, this one I absolutely love. So next we have us a flannel and it wouldn't be a fall try on haul if I didn't have a flannel. And this one, as you can see, is like patchy, color block, all these different colors, all of my favorite colors at that. And this I got in a size large or extra large, can't remember, but it will be down below. And of course you can wear it as is, or you can tie it up to give yourself a little bit more shape if you don't want to look super, you know, baggy and boxy. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, this will look really cute with some jeans like this or some black high-waisted jeans or some black faux leather jeans, some really, really cute faux leather boots or booties or whatever. And you could throw on any color in this top to bring out like a bag, yellow, red, black, white, blue, whichever floats your boat. Super easy to style. So next we have this top and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure why I got it. I just really liked the way that it looked on the model and in the reviews I saw like people posting pictures and I was like, that is a really cute top. So as you can see, it is a lot more see-through than it is in the photo, I'm, or maybe it could just be my lighting. I'm not 100% on that, but just know that you may risk it being a little see-through. So if you don't wear a bra, you definitely want to wear something underneath it. 
This I got in a size large, and as you can see, it fits real snug, and it has the two straps in the front. You could tie it like a halter or however you want, but I think this is how you're supposed to wear it to give it that oomph. So next up we have us this really cute sweater, and I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for something, but I can't think of the name. So this I got in a size large, and I love the cuts of this sweater. I think it looks really, really good. I think it's super flattering, and I just threw on some faux leather, pants which i'm pretty sure these pants are from white fox boutique if i'm not mistaken but i love the cut of this as you can see it kind of like goes down in the back so that it's not super high up which i really like and the x in the front is just doing something for me i feel like this is such a classy sweater and you could just do something very simple some black platform booties with some faux leather pants like this a pop of color bag, a red lip, and some shades, okay? And you're good. So next up we have this mesh top. And as you can see, the sleeves at the bottom are a little bit exaggerated and they just kind of like flare out a little bit. There's no button or anything, so they just kind of stay open, which personally, I wish there was a button because that kind of bothers me. I don't know what it is. It feels weird, but I really do like the top. I got this in a large and as you can see, she fits snug. Your girl is like bulking up over here. So yeah, a lot of clothes are starting to fit a little bit tighter on me and I am trying to slow down a little bit because your girl's not trying to be a linebacker out here because I'm already approaching that. So this top I think will look really cute with the pants I have on in this video or you can throw on just some regular black jeans and call it a day. But I really do like this top and I think I said it, but I got it in a large. So next we have us a sweater and this sweater is so freaking cute so as you can see it is black and white stripes and it has like a yellow trim around the neck this i got in a size large and as you can see she fits nice and loose and i personally would wear it tucked in to give myself a little bit more shape because you know why the hell not and you don't want to look super you know unflattering and boxy so it's always good to do a little side tuck so you can also go ahead and tuck it all the way around and then kind of pull it out a little bit. But I like the kind of baggy feel with a little bit of tucking, you know? And the model also had it off the shoulders. My shoulders are broad as hell, so it doesn't really look like it does on the model off the shoulder. But if your shoulders are more on the narrow side, you can definitely get away with the off the shoulder look. Next up, we have the same exact sweater, just in a very, very bright pink. And this one's not my favorite, but if you are someone who wants, you know, a little bit more color, this one is going to be perfect for you. I got it in the same exact size, size large, and this one fits exactly the same. There's nothing different. You guys know how sometimes different colors can fit differently, but this fits exactly the same. This sweater is actually really, really soft as well, and it's a lightweight, but also a little warm if you needed it to be. You can definitely layer with these sweaters as well if you need a little bit more, if it's like a little bit chillier. So yeah, this one is really cute. It's so freaking bright. It's like washing out on the camera, but per usual, I will have the photos up so you can see the item a little bit more clear because my camera be playing me sometimes. So next we have us a crop top or a baby tee, I guess you could say. And this is like the famous skims dupe tee on shein and i have so many colors i actually have some more colors in this video coming up but this is the very very bright hot pink one and i just really like the pink collection from skims but i wasn't able to get anything from it like everybody else on the planet seems so i went ahead and just got this and i really do like it i would wear it with something similar probably some black or Maybe even, I don't know, you can really wear this with any color, but I didn't get the biker shorts or anything, so I can't give you the full Skims vibe, but I do really like these tops. I have them in so many colors, and you guys will see more of these towards the end of the video. Next up, we have this graphic tee, and this is from the Daisy section of Shein, and you guys know it runs really, really small, but sometimes their stuff does have like bigger measurements. So that's the stuff that I typically go for. And they have a lot of really cute pieces. So I hate that all of their stuff runs hella small. But as you can see, this top I got in a size extra large and it's practically meant for you to wear tucked in. I feel like it looks better that way because without it tucked in, it just kind of looks like it's slapped in the middle of the shirt kind of sorta. So 
This is super cute. I love this lace detail on the top. I love me a good graphic tee that has like a little bit of pizzazz to it, you know? And this would look obviously good with some black jeans, some black faux leather pants, or just any type of bottoms that you wanna wear. But definitely, I would recommend tucking the shirt in. I feel like it looks better that way. And then of course, you can dress this up or down. You could wear a skirt. You could do like a satin skirt. I think that would be a vibe with this top. And throw on some heels and a red lip and you're good to go. So next we have this super cute like knit sleeveless top. And this is like my vibe lately. I love this top. I do wish it was a little bit bigger. So I did get it in a large and it fits well. Like it fits the way it's supposed to. But I would prefer if it was like a little bit baggier at the top. Kind of like a loose fit. Like, kind of like a bat wing type of vibe where it's like bigger at the top and then it kind of tapers at the bottom. But I do really like this top a lot and it's really, really, really soft and stretchy. If you do want it to be more fitted, I would size down, although it is already pretty fitted. But if I would have gotten a smaller size, it definitely would have been like snug to my body and not kind of like scrunched up, if you will. So this I love a lot. I think this is really, really cute. I'm really into all things knit for the fall season and even the winter. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of knit pieces in my upcoming haul. So definitely stay tuned because your girl is like knit obsessed right now. So you'll see a lot of that. Next up we have this denim button down shirt and it does have this unique cut in the front. So it is like split and you could also unbutton the buttons and tie it in the front like the model has in the photo. And I'm not gonna lie, I was like a little confused I did end up tying it off camera and honestly I wasn't a huge fan. I feel like it was super bulky in the front so I don't know if I got like a size that's too big. I got a large and as you can see it's not huge but it is kind of big low key so I don't know. I wasn't really feeling the tied slits in the front. I don't know so I just left it like this but you can definitely wear it like the model had it but I just couldn't get a good knot and it was just looking really bulky so yeah this I got in a large like I said and I feel like this is quite roomy, so if you do want to size down, absolutely do that. But as you can see here, I don't know. I feel I gotta figure out a way to wear this that I like personally, but yeah, I do really like it though. So next we are moving on to the bottoms, and this right here is so freaking cute. I've had my eye on this for a little bit, and obviously, like the cargo skirts have been super trendy lately, so I decided to pick this one up and I think it looks really cute. So this one I got in a size large. And it is obviously meant for you to wear a low rise. And the waist is basically drawstring. As you can see, the drawstring hanging in the front. And then you just tighten it to your liking. And I got a large because it is meant for you to wear low rise. And I didn't know if it was going to be too tight around the hips. But this fits me perfectly. So yeah, I love this skirt. I definitely want to pair it with like some combat boots, which I need to get. If you guys know any places to get some really cute combat boots, I looked on Shein, but I wasn't able to find a good pair. So yeah, leave those down below. So next we have another cargo style skirt. And this one is in a like light tan color. And this one is longer. It's not the same style. This one is straight. The other one was obviously ruched. And the waist on this one is also elastic with a drawstring so you can tighten it or loosen it to your liking. I got this in a large as well and then I just tightened the waist to my liking. So this skirt is so freaking cute. I'm not gonna lie, I prefer the other one because it is more fitted. I feel like this skirt kind of looks weird on me. I don't know, the length of it or something is just looking kind of weird. So I would prefer if it was more tapered at the bottom. But I do really like the style of these skirts, so I wanted to try it out and see what it looks like on me personally. Okay, so next up we have a jumpsuit. Kind of just threw the jumpsuit in here. But this, I don't really know why I got. I just thought it was really cute. And for me, I'm personally going to wear this for like lounge purposes, like around the house. I did get it in a size large, and there's a lot of extra fabric in the back. So it doesn't fit the best, which is another reason why I'd only wear it inside. So next we have a pair of like shell cargo pants and you guys know these are also very trendy just like the skirts these were actually a little bit before the skirts or i seen these type of pants before i seen those skirts but these pants i got in a size large and they do have a drawstring and they are super super loose and just comfy honestly they kind of remind me of like hospital pants so i'm not gonna lie but they do have a pocket on the side but it's not like functional it's just 
the look of a pocket and the bottoms do have a drawstring if you want to make them less wide leg and a little bit more scrunched up but these are super cute so next I have a pair of shorts and I just thought these were hella cute. I feel like they scream fall. They're like a teddy bear print pair of shorts and I love like this color scheme. I love this vibe. I used to have a teddy bear bag that I got from the thrift store when I was like early 20s and I've had that bag for ages and one day it just disappeared. I don't know what happened to it but these shorts reminded me of that bag so i just had to get them but these i got in a size medium and they do have a elastic waist so the waist is very very comfy but as you can see it's very fitted and i didn't know if my cheeks were hanging out or not so that's why i have my hands there but obviously you can see they're not so i wouldn't wear this top necessarily but i will have this top on in the next clip which is why i have it on with this but i'd probably wear some type of cozy sweater so next we have these tees and sweatpant combos they aren't set and they don't go together but i wanted to see if they actually went together in real life so you guys know the pink tee that i showed you in the beginning this is that same tee but just in this like cream color and then i got some joggers or sweatpants that resembled that same color but as you can see they're not spot on but it still kind of gives the look of like a monochromatic vibe if you wanted to do this type of look but I wanted to show you guys that the colors are not like spot on or anything so yeah the top I got in a size medium and these sweatpants I got in a size large and they are super super soft and they have an elastic waist so they're very very comfortable so right along with that I also got brown and as you can see the browns are not that similar but they also kind of don't look like the photos either and I'm pretty sure that's just because Shein literally edits the photo instead of just taking a picture in the actual item so I don't know why they do that because it's never spot on but anyways these are both in the same exact size top medium joggers or sweatpants large and these aren't the same browns either but you know it is what it is it's not that big of a deal you know it's a bunch of different brown tones as you can see I have on brown socks brown slides and they're all different so it's still a vibe but they're not that similar like they are in the photos and the last one I have is this gray combo, which is my favorite because it is the most spot on, if you will, at least spot on as far as they kind of look similar in color, but they don't necessarily look like the photo. That's not what I'm saying. But these I also got in a size medium in the top and a large in the sweatpants. And I kept on these brown socks, so don't mind that. But I just threw on some gray slides and these are just perfect for like airports, errands just chilling any type of casual vibe that you're going for and i do have one more pair of sweats but these are not you know plain these have like a patchwork type of vibe on the front so it's like cream gray and green and then the back is just straight green so i kept on the gray shirt that i had on in the previous clip and these i also got in a large and i just love having sweats on hand especially in the cooler months and they just they're perfect like literally they're perfect to throw on when it is chilly. I love to just throw on a crop tee with a crop denim jacket and a crossbody, some sneakers, slides, whatever, and it is a look every single time. So next we are moving on to a set, and this is the only one I have in this video, but wow, this is so freaking cute. When I seen this, I had to get it immediately. I was like, this is adorable, and I've seen this before. I'm pretty sure this is a designer dupe for something, not a designer, but a more high-end piece I've seen. I don't really know, I can't remember. But this I got in a size medium and she's gorgeous, okay? Super soft, just beautiful. This is not necessarily fall. This is giving more spring, obviously, because of the colors. But I do think that the material obviously makes it really fall and it's very, very soft and warm and snug. And I just feel like a strawberry shortcake in this outfit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I would wear this in the fall season, but a lot of people take vacations during this time of the year, so this would be perfect for that. So lastly, we are moving on to the outerwear slash jackets, coats, whatever. So I saw this cute puffer coat and it obviously has a B on it for big brawny. Okay, I'm just kidding. But this I got in a size large and it does have a drawstring at the bottom, which I'm going to tighten in a second but you can have it open like this if you want more of a wide fit. But I love me a good cropped, scrunched up, just snug fit to the body. It just adds more shape and it looks less boxy. 
So here's a close up of the B. The B is like a teddy material. So I love that it also has some texture right along with like the puffer coat and like the varsity. I love the whole vibe of this jacket. And this is just one of my favorites in this video, honestly. Y'all know I love me a good puffer coat. And obviously it's still a little too hot right now to wear this. So I'm gonna hold on to her, but this is going to be such a cute piece to style in the fall season. So I can't wait. Next up we have this cardigan and I just thought this was hella cute. It's like pink and then it obviously has cow prints on there and I don't know, I just thought it was really, really cute. It's like a little cozy vibe. If you wanna just have like, I don't know, a pop, but not too, too much, then you could just wear like a whole black fit. You can wear like a black top and black bottoms like I do in this video or you could just do whatever. If you really wanna be out there, you can bring out the pink in this and just Add like a cute pink bag, some pink heels, some pink boots if you're feeling pink, okay sis? But I personally wouldn't wear this with joggers like I have on in the video, but I would definitely do like a pair of black jeans with a black, or not black, pair of black jeans, a white bralette, like a crop bralette, and then maybe do some pink heels to kind of bring out the pink in the cardigan. But here's a close up of the cardigan. It's still a little washed out, but it is more vibrant in person. Very, very similar to the photo. So yeah, I was trying to get it, but my camera was just not cooperating. Okay, so yeah, just look at the photo and that's exactly what it looks like in real life. But yeah, I love this cardigan. So lastly, we have this and I honestly am not sure why I got this. I really liked the blue metallic vibe, but I'm not a huge fan. First of all, this thing reeked, okay? It smelled so bad when I got it. And that's typical for this type of material, but it was awful. So this is cute, but it just feels very cheap. It looks a little bit more expensive in the photo. And in real life, it could be a look. I feel like this would be cute for like photo purposes, but it's not, I don't know, something, it's just like a raincoat, like a cropped raincoat, essentially. Don't get me wrong, I could finesse this. Okay, I could do some with this, but it's not my favorite, but I do really love the color. And this is the very last piece I have in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Shein fall haul. I'll have some more coming, of course. Definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. Per usual, comment down below your favorite piece in today's video. I can't decide right now, but also follow me on Instagram because I will be styling these pieces in the future. And I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video per usual. Bye.